Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. I'm Katie Houston. I'm Danita Harris. Here's a look at today's top stories. We've seen more than three dozen restaurants closed down during the pandemic in Northeast Ohio. Cleveland expanded outdoor seating options to provide more space for service. And today, the City Council considers extending that measure to next spring. Stay with News 5 for updates on any decisions made. Governor DeWine is warning as coronavirus cases continue to rise in our state, plans to reopen schools for in-person classes may once again be at risk if nothing changes. In the past two weeks, at least 16 Ohio school districts have reversed their plans. And tonight's leaders in the Shaker Heights School District will be meeting to talk about what they're going to do. Students there were supposed to go back into the classroom next week, but now that won't happen. Trent, soaker of a morning. Oh yeah, the good news is things are going to be improving as we get into the afternoon. This front slowly sliding east and while it's doing that, yeah, dropping a ton of rain, flash flooding earlier this morning. That is all improving, which is great news as we get closer to the middle part of the day. Into the afternoon though, once those winds shift and we dry out, look at the temperature drop. Look at the little drop in numbers. We're actually going to be dropping by sunset likely into the 50s. Now we hold the 50s tonight because the winds continue to shift more back out of the south. And that gives us a big time warm up these next couple of days. But it's only a couple days. The weekend we've got more rain and cool. I'll show you that seven day coming up. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.